Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and in today's episode, I will be discussing about events as well as different type of, type of bindings. So in yesterday's episode, I have shown you how you can use string interpolation in your template and how you can render the data in your template or view easily. In today's episode, I will be uh, taking the same template and will show some example how you can use different type of um, bindings. So let me clear uh, the page. So you can see yesterday we have seen like how you can um, use this uh, string interpolation to bind our text from our component now i will show you another process where you can simply use a method to do the same so let's try a create a method called get title here and with that method what i'm going to do i'm just simply return the same thing like this dot obj dot title bar so now instead of using this uh, string interpolation i can actually put this method inside here and this will do the same thing so uh, the same text is still rendering so this is another way you can pass your method inside double curly brace to get that data back so this way you can also do the same let's uh, revert back our changes so now uh, we'll talk about the property binding so so property binding i will show you an example how we can use that so for an example we have a button in our page so let's create a button here and uh, this is a button so as you can see this this button has been added into the page so you already know like in uh, html so there are some attributes which um, can uh, use to enable or disable the button for example this is a disabled so this if you add this attribute actually the button will be disabled uh, if you are adding that and um, but this is actually uh, hard coded ever or it's not dynamic kind in nature so angular can handle this uh, attribute if you are using it as a property binding so to uh, show you that let's go inside our app component and uh, declare a boolean so, so let's give it a name is enabled and it's, it will be a boolean and the default value will be true so the there is two state of this button once one is enabled and one is disabled right so now uh, to show that uh, what i'll do i'll just simply put into the square bracket and inside equal to within string i will pass my that is enabled boolean here and let's let's see what happens so so now disabled true so it is right now disabled same now to test that if it's working perfectly let's make this as false so that means the disability falls or the opposite it's right now it's enabled right so you can see this is enabled so through your class file you can dynamically enable and disable using this property binding so this is not only this disabled enabled there are many uh, property binding you can use uh, like checked unchecked or any other forms at uh, from uh, from uh, properties you can handle through your class dynamically now uh, let's go to another example where uh, if you worked on angular js earlier uh, 1x angular js 1.5 1.6 or anything 
you have uh, seen that two-way data binding uh, so let's mimic that using another um, um, way uh, so how to do that let's go to an example let's create an input here so input type text and give it a value so uh, you can see this value um, this is the hard-coded value what we are using uh, it's added into this input text and uh, if uh, we are using the same things object dot title bar so we can do that here it will be not a so to do that dynamic binding we are again um, converting as a property binding and now you can see uh, this title text has been added here um, but now you cannot put any string or something here so to do that you need to use another one um, so So in this way you can actually pass some string here and um, if you are removing that so it will come as an undefined because uh, it's not uh, it's only accepting dynamic values here so let's put that back so this is the same as where you have worked in for disabled which accepts boolean value true or false and this is accepting a value uh, dynamically from object or title where it's loading now as i said earlier our task is whenever we type this this text need to be changed accordingly so how we can achieve that so you need to understand the first like uh, uh, when will whenever we'll type what event will happen so whenever we type uh, we can hold we can handle the key up event and based on that we can actually take whatever the text we are writing here as the form value or the value of this input and then if we set this value uh, to this object or title var then i think we can actually achieve whatever we require right so let's do that so first of all uh, we need some variable or reference to get whatever we are typing in here so to do that you can actually create a reference say i'm giving an input reference you can create a uh, reference uh, using this hash and then what i'm doing uh, so i'm creating an event and the event we am uh, we are interested in key up and then give a name of that uh, method which going to execute whenever this key up event uh, happens so give it a name of on key up so whenever this key up event happens we are going to trigger this on key up method and as a parameter or argument what we need we need this input text value right so this holds our whole input as a reference so let's use that and then what we are interested in the value of the input right so now what we are again i'm just uh, describing again so this is the input so we are interested in this value field whatever we will type we are interested in this area whatever we'll type that will be stored as value and to get that we are taking this whole inputs reference in this input as a name of input reference so the value can be accessed through input reference dot value and on key up whenever we'll type a key up event happens this method will trigger and we are passing that string inside that method now in app component i'm going to write 
that may event whatever we have declared so let's copy that within this method we are expecting that um, whatever you are passing this value right so give it any name so input value and the type is string we are expecting okay now what will happen what we are now next what we going to do so we have access to this whatever we are typing right the next thing what we want to do we want to set the title uh, to whatever we are typing here right so this is the uh, place where we have defined what text we need to show here so now let's overwrite that so how we can get access of this object so we can type this dot obj then title bar so we now we reached here and we're going to change this string uh, with whatever we are typing and whatever we typing that we have access here right so now let's equal to input value. now let's test our implementation here let's remove everything you can see now it's cleaned up right so it's now working so if you remove that it will remove if you type again it will come up so actually it's kind of two-way data winding what uh, you have worked on in angular js so this is the thing so i will uh, complete this uh, episode by showing you another uh, thing like how you can create event so you already created a event uh, on key app and pass the uh, value here so let's uh, add another event to this button so so say click event uh, we want to do something when we will uh, when someone click on this button right so that is simple we are interested in this click event and what we want to do we want to execute a method uh, whenever someone click this so we can name anything uh, so the event name is on click okay and so now we'll write here our on click and this event i am just going to put an alert so now test is out like when i click this is button this alert should come up our event works uh, isn't that easy um, so now you have some basic understanding how to create an event how you can actually um, uh, bind a prop uh, using property binding so we have so uh, seen like how you can actually bind a value dynamically using property binding also you have understood like how we can use a boolean uh, return a boolean attribute and can uh, use property binding to handle that and also we have uh, shown in an example how we can use a method also to render a string uh, thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next uh, episode uh, shortly thank you thanks for watching